Hey, welcome back to the Auto Essence Detailing Channel, everybody. Uh, hopefully, everybody's having a good day. It's about 60 degrees over here in Houston, and uh, it's still winter time, so tomorrow's going to be a lot colder. I believe it's going to be about 30 to 40 degrees. So I figured today's be would be the better day to post this up and video it for you guys to show you what it is. So it's uh, the unboxing of my premium garden hose foam sprayer. And um, I have two boxes here. So one's a blue one and one's a red one. I just wanna show you what's inside the box. So when you go buy this from me, um, you'll have a better idea of what's in it and, and what separates it from all the other items you see on the internet. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and just make sure you ha have already liked, comment, and subscribe, or one of those in, in my videos, on my channel, on my previous videos. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So this is the blue one right here. And this is the red one. So you might be asking, why do I need a foam gun and foam sprayer? Um, a lot of people don't want to lug out their pressure washer. Uh, so for example, mine's already set up here, uh, but not everybody has that capability or convenience. Uh, mine's already connected because I use that just about every day for my business. And, um, but also if your car is ceramic coated, you more than likely won't need to take out the pressure washer and that's the joy of having a ceramic coated vehicle because it makes your job easier. Now, this foam gun foam sprayer connects straight to your uh, your your garden hose, basically. So it connects straight to it. You don't have to lug out the pressure washer. It just connects straight to it. You add soap, you add water, and so forth. But we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so this is the blue one right here. It has a... Has a light shiny blue color right there. Go ahead and move this box out. So every one of our foam sprayers will have our sticker on it. And so we'll go ahead and just get out the red one while we're at it. So there's our red and our blue one. And I'll show you what else is in the box. So. Uh, we add everything into this box as much as possible to make it worthwhile for you. So, uh, so everything is contained in here. So when you grab it, everything is contained in this bag. So instruction booklet, if you need to, if I can grab it out, sorry for the background noise. Uh, so instruction booklet, if you need it. We have all these other components into it here too. And I'll show you what these two gaskets are for. And a lot of uh, companies do not add this in, but I added it in already. Uh, so it's easy to connect together here. So what you do is you look for these notches right there. So it either goes up and down right there or this way. So typically I prefer up and down and it goes in like that. So if you don't hear that click right here, that, mean, that means it's in. So if you don't hear it, it's not in. So you just put it like this and you don't hear any click, it's not in. So yeah, you, you have to, Make sure it's in, okay. So it's very easy put together, all brass components. And so you have your disconnect right here, your quick disconnect. So um, essentially, if you just wanna just water down the car, or rinse down the car, you can use this right here, okay. So do a quick disconnect. And then you hear the click. Okay. So if you don't hear the click as well, 
that means it's knotted. So if you just put it here, as you can see, it's still sticking out right there. You gotta hear the clip. And it's all brass components, so it's very high quality. Right there, you hear the click again. So you just, to, to remove it, it's very easy, just, okay. But um, also, our product has a quick disconnect at the very bottom as well. So let me show you here. So the bottom end connects to your water hose. So essentially, we have this quick disconnect here because it swivels. A lot of products don't come with this and you're kind of stuck without a swivel. You'll notice you'll need the swivel because when you're connected to a water hose and it's the water hose has pressure and is very tight, you won't have the freedom of movement. So this one, you have the freedom of movement here, as you can see. And we give you um, this gasket right here and this gasket right here too. So there's a gasket in here too, but you will not need to remove this. If you need to remove it, just get a uh, alligator wrench and remove this, but you will not need to remove it. So if you ever see any kind of leaking around here, it's because you don't have a gasket in here. So there is a gasket in here. I installed in uh, every one of them. So you don't need to mess with this at all. When you get it, you just add the water hose in here. You add about, so this goes about 30 to 32 ounces. So three to four ounces of soap is what I recommend. And let's see here. Let me see if I can get it on camera. So this is at a three right now, if you can see that. It's a little blurry, but you can see a three right there. So we go to two, one, zero, right? So zero. All right. Right there, zero means zero soap. So you step it up to a one, that's some soap. Then you gradually go up to two, that's a good amount of soap. So normally I just leave it at a three. That's a, a good mixture of, of water and soap. Uh, four or five, you won't really need to. If you do four or five, that's a lot of soap. And you will drain out the the... The bottle very quick let me just tell you that so typically you just need to put it three and it'll give you good enough soap to water mixture entire way so if your person just loves soap i mean feel free to put more soap in there about six six ounces i guess if you if you can measure that um but normally i just leave it at three here so basically you just connect your um your hose, your water hose right here. And that's it. I mean, and let's see here. Let's quick disconnect like that. So these two right here are your backups. So a lot of companies do not add any backup gaskets at all, but I feel that is very needed because if you lose, as for example, you lose this one right here which I mean, it's very difficult to lose because you see these, um, you see the tab right there? That tab helps to hold this in. Uh, but if you ever to lose that, you could put this in there and it'll be just fine. If you lose the one that's in here, you could add another one in there, but that's what it's for. So if you ever see these two gaskets in here, when you order it, that's what it's for. <laughs> Try not to throw it away when you get the box, uh, cause you never know when you'll need it. 
You could probably find it at the uh, auto parts store, but um, good luck trying to find that. Uh, but that's what it's there for. So we'll just go ahead and open up the red one too, just so you know, it's very easy. Everything's in the bag right here. I'll go ahead and put this together while we're at it. So step one, put this in there, connect this. Per se, let's just go step by step, right? Click, step one. Step two, or maybe you wanna do step one first as this way. Take this off. Uh, fill it up to the top right about here and then put three to four ounces of soap. So I typically like to put water and then the soap. If you put the soap first before the water, the chances of the mixture being very soapy and you're gonna just drain out all the soap before the water is very likely. That's why I like to put in the soap. I'm sorry, I like to put in the water and then the soap and then mix it up really good. So basically fill up the top, Put three to four ounces of soap, close it up, like so. And it only goes in one way, so you know it's on the right way. Shake it up really good, okay? So you have that set, right? So here it goes, instructions and the two gaskets right there. All right, so you have your um, your trigger here. And so let me go grab my water hose just to kind of show you. All right, so for example, you have your water hose right here. What I like to do is just go ahead and connect that together. And it's connected so you know how it's connected because there's already a, a casket right here so water won't be spraying out so as i said this is the swivel right here so basically range of movement rather than if you didn't have this connected together you, you would just be stuck basically um you'll notice when you go around the corners of a car and then you try to wiggle this out or kind of move. So I have a swivel right here so you can just move and then spray it down. But um, that's how it is. And then connect it together. Okay. So you hear the click. Okay. Once again, click. And every bottle is already set at three. Um, so I go through quality control on all these boxes before it gets sent out. So I move it to three. Okay. And then that's it. That's that's your foam sprayer. Hopefully you, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just wanted to show you what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? So... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, post down below, uh, email me, you know, whatever. Auto Essence is basically all over Google. So feel free to message me, comment if you have any questions. Um, but that's my item right there. And um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do whatever. But um Thanks for supporting me, you guys. But uh, until the next video, I'll see you later. Thanks.